What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Dragalge for Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Dragalge, I absolutely love this Pokemon just because of its typing, Poison and Dragon. Not a lot of Poison and Dragon type Pokemon. Honestly, this is the only Poison and Dragon type Pokemon I could think of. But Dragalge is a very strong Pokemon, but it's very slow, which is why we're using it on this Trick Room team today. Now, Dragalge's got adaptability as its ability to make its stand moves hit even harder than they already do. It's got Life Orb as item, Stellar Terror type with Protect, Draco Meter, Sludge Bomb, and Skull. So this Pokemon is here for big time damage and big time damage only. Like I mentioned, this team is a Trick Room team, which is why we have Indeedee and Hatterene, two premier elite Trick Room setters. Indeedee can just go into its Psychic Surge, drop a Follow Me. Hatterene can set up the, that Trick Room and then just like expand and force its way to victory. You guys seen that combo plenty of times before. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Incineroar, Ursaluna, and Sylveon. Sylveon is going to be a great special attacker with Calm Mind. Ursaluna, a big time physical attacker with Swords Dance. And Incineroar, doing Incineroar things. I don't even have to talk about that Pokemon anymore. We know exactly what Incineroar does. We know exactly how it plays. I'm done talking about it. If you guys want to run the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Dragalge. First match on its way, and we're going up against an expanding force armor squad. They also have King Gambit, they got Pelipper, they got, what is that book one? Smeargle, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Murkrow. So I feel like a Trick Room user is going to be very good for us. Do I go into Indeed here to just get things started? Is that my play? Hmm. We could go into Incineroar. Incineroar could absolutely rip up into a lot of different Pokemon. I am a bit scared of Defiant, obviously, onto King Gambit, so I might just lead Indeed and. Dragalge, I could go into you, obviously, which wouldn't be bad. I got Mystical Fire, I got Expanded Force. A lot of different options here, but I feel as we should just go into these two. Maybe just protect Dragalge this turn. Go into Incineroar, and last but not least, go into Ursa Luna Bear. This thing just hits way too hard not to bring it in here. With Facade, Headlong Rush, and Guts, Flame Orb. Like, come on, man. Ursa Luna is the real deal. And Ursa Luna, Blood Moon, and regular form are going to be hitting hard in Regulation Age. Just such a good Pokemon, especially in the Trick Room. Once you set up the Trick Room, it's pretty much game set match. I shouldn't say it's game set match, but they get a lot of work done in Trick Room is what I'm trying to say. Let's see who they end up leading here. I'm hoping it's not King Gambit. I wouldn't mind, like, Murkrow. Murkrow would be awesome. Murkrow would be awesome, but I doubt they'll be doing Murkrow, right? That would be crazy. No, Smeargle and Armor Rouge. The Smeargle Armor Rouge come out here. I don't really know how to feel about this because we can't really pop Trick Room, can we? Hmm. I wish I went into Hatterene here because then I could just like Magic Bounce Spore. That could have been good for us. Um, I could just go for Follow Me and start attacking. I do have Psychic Terra. Um, he can't fake me out, which is really good news. I might just try to attack with Dragalge. If you want to put me to sleep, you can put me to sleep. Actually, we're going to hard swap somebody. We're going to go for Trick Room here. I'm going to hard swap Dragalge into Incineroar. Alright. Okay, so this 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 lead right here really throwing me off. Smeargle's just annoying, man. Like, we know somebody's going to sleep. We're hoping... I don't even know. We're hoping, I guess, they maybe go into what's called into Incineroar because I'd rather get off Trick Room. I'm gonna go for a flip turn. Oh, your flip turn. Oh, your flip. Okay. Okay. I mean, I got a special defense boost, which is good. I think speed is going up, so Trick Room is gonna benefit us. Okay. I understand. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. He's gonna flip turn out of here. He's got a speed boost. He's going into here. Indeedy now. Just for support. This can get real ugly. This can get real ugly, but I do have Ursaluna Bear. And I think we should be able to get off Trick Room because Expanded Force Pie Flying. Yeah. Indeed, you got Psychic Seeds. I think you should soak this. It doesn't affect my Incineroar. And yeah, you soak it all day. No problem. Okay, so that's big time for us. We get off our Trick Room. Um, Gotta go for the knockoff here, correct? Gotta go for the knockoff. Incineroar is just such a good Pokemon here. Did I just helping hand this this knockoff shot? Or I could just snarl around. Yeah, let's just helping hand this snarl. Super effective on the both. Plus we'll drop special attack. I'm all about it. 
I'm all about it. I'm all about this. So if Amit's gonna come out here, that's a good waste of a turn from their Ndidi. Snarl is going to launch, which is gorgeous, doing respectable damage, but more importantly, dropping the special attack of that Armor Rouge that we don't want to deal with. And he's gonna go for an Aurora Spear. Uh, do we eat that? We do eat that. That's good news. That's good news. So I just follow me this turn then. And just snarl up again. Yeah, I mean, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He's just gonna protect Armor Rouge. Are you going for Dazzle Gleam here in DD? I want a couple more. My, my problem here is I want a couple more Trick Room turns. Especially with the two back end Pokemon that I have. I don't want them just to KO with the Ndidi. That would be best option for us. And he's going to reverse the Trick Room. Okay. The Trick Room gets reversed. Um, I'm cool with that. I think I can actually set up another one. Just because we're so bulky. So I'm going to go for another Trick Room. And from here, let's go for Knockoff. Try to just like KO this Ndidi here. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because another Ndidi could think that I'm popping Trick Room, which I am. And they can try to cancel out Trick Room right away. But I, if I reset this Trick Room, I can pretty much just win this game. If I reset this Trick Room, we, we are sitting in a perfect position. But that was a big time swap for me early on to get Incineroar out here. But Armor Cannon's going to launch here. And this is scary. Because we do soak it. Hold up. Wait a minute. Incineroar. Outspeed the Ndidi and just KO it for me. Do me a favor. No, you don't. But Ndidi survives. Oh, my Lord. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting my Ndidi to survive that. 11 HP, I was just like, oh man. Looks like we're gonna have to just use our Trick Room Pokemon without Trick Room. But, my girl with the Psychic Seeds, out bulking, Incineroar Snarls, doing work and wonders there as well. Cause that thing was minus two on special attack, and Ndidi's plus one on special defense. This thing only took six damage to that Dazzling Gleam. Six. It's perfect. Pelper comes out here, Trick Room is here. Um. A follow me shot is probably best for us. And if I can't land another Snarl, I'd love to go for Snarl. Two special attackers, he wide guards it. What a smart cookie. What a smart cookie. But it's no big deal. I get to get out Dragalgy with Scald in the rain. Hmm. I still have Terra type too. Wide guard Pelipper always do me dirty. I'm really wide guarding a Snarl here though. Kind of weird, but I mean it works out. Do you have Trick Room? Do you have Trick Room Armor Rouge? Thank you. Alright, I was gonna say, if this Armor Rouge is cancelled out Trick Room, that would be a big time play for them. But, instead, I am fully back. Ready to go. Rain's gone. And I could just go into Dragalgy? Yeah, Dragalgy is definitely your best option. We go into Dragalgy here, I can launch Draco Meteor, Sludge Bombs, whatever I please. And I am definitely slower than you. Did you use Terra? I don't think you did yet. No, you didn't. I think we're safe to just go into a Scald here. Pick up the KO. And then just Snarl this Pelipper. I doubt it goes for another Y guard. I mean, if it does, that's fine because then my Dragalge just outspeeds and Skull can KO. But let's see. Let's see what he ends up doing here. I think he's looking to KO my Incineroar here. The Skull's going to get blocked. Chance already is going to Thrasolize next turn. And I might read a Grass Terror next turn. In all honesty. In all honesty, I might just read a Grass Terror. So Snarl's gonna fire, it is gonna lower Paloops' special attack, and more importantly, take off the Focus Ash, which if I had to guess what item it is, it is definitely Focus Ash. He's gonna Weather Ball down my Incineroar. So Incineroar, just, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Incineroar dies out here, and now I get out my two premier elite Trick Room Pokemon with Ursaluna and Trigology for it. I think we have three turns left in it, and these guys are all at full HP, which is, mwah, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. It's huge. So there we go. Okay, so... Honestly, I might just make the read here. Throw a Sludge Bomb in the slot. Even though Sludge Bomb should KO regardless. Do I Stellar Terror? Yeah, I'm going to Stellar Terror. Just to make sure that I pick up the KO. And I'm going to just protect this thing. Because chances are Weather Ball is going to launch into this. But for the most part, Armor Rouge does rock Grass Terror. And I feel like if you're going to Terrastalize in the Grass Terror here. Sludge Bomb is the right play to do. Plus, if you don't Terrastalize, I think Sludge Bomb with the Stellar Terror type KO is no problem regardless. So, let's see how this one plays out here. Yep, there's Terror. So, this was an easy read. This is definitely Grass Terror. This is definitely Grass Terror, right? Gotta be Grass Terror. It's gotta be Grass Terror. 
Come on, man. These eads, these, these eads, these reads are way too easy. Come on, man. That's too easy. Protect comes out from my bear because I'm protecting Weather Ball flying in this slot. Sludge Bomb launching. We can all wave bye bye to Arm Rouge. And I get a crit regardless. Like that, that was doing an insane amount of damage. Stab, adaptability, stellar boost it, critical hit boost it, life orb boost it, sludge bomb. Not a lot of Pokemon survive that. Not a lot. And Hurricane's gonna launch. Okay, so we call for them. Hurricane does respectable damage, and my guts are triggered. All right. So I can one shot this Pelipper, one shot with Facade. Um, I can drink a meter down whoever they throw out here. It's Smeargle. Yeah, it's Smeargle. I totally forgot. Smeargle comes out here. I think we just double down the Pelipper. In all honesty, I think we just double down the Pelipper and just try to get rid of it. Unless Pelipper protects and a Spore, but I think they're going to fake out an attack here. To be honest, Pelipper might not even have Protect. Wide Guard, Hurricane. No, they don't even fake out. That just KOs. Beautiful. Dragalge doing monstrous damage. Bye bye to you. I think he's trying to Spore here, and Facade's going to launch over here. If you're not Focus Ash, you're dead. And I thought the Pelipper was Focus Ash. Yep, you're not focused, actually. It was on the Pelipper. I was right this whole time. So, one and another to get this video started. Dragalge and Ursaluna cleaning up in match number one. Moving on to our second match for today's video. We're going up against Gengar, everyone's favorite ghost-type Pokemon. On top of that, they got King Gambo. They got Rillaboom. They got Water Tauros. And then Volcarona and Clefable. Okay, um, King Gambit looking a tad bit scary here. Not going to sugarcoat it. It's looking a tad bit scary. Like, let's be honest here. Um... I'm gonna need somebody to set up Trick Room and your Psychic type Terra. What Terra are you, Hatterene? Okay, flying. I think we can work with this. I think we can work with this. So I'm gonna go into you. I think Gambo is gonna be the lead. So I might wanna go into like Dragalge or even Flame Orb Ursaluna here. <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna go Ursaluna. Bring Dragalge and Incineroar in the back end. I like Incineroar up against like every Pokemon besides that Tauros, obviously. But his inner is so good. I just gotta watch out for Defiant on King Gambit. That's, that's my only problem with it. So, I like the team that we're bringing in here. Hopefully, we can rip it up. <clears throat> Our main focus is gonna be getting off this Trick Room. I do have Curver Cloak if they wanna lead a fake out user such as Rillaboom. But if they go King Gambit, I think we're better off just Terrestrializing into Flying and then just trying to get off that Trick Room. Maybe we should have let Incineroar had a ring. That could have been better for us. But the reason I didn't wanna lead Incineroar was just in case this King Gambit is the lead. I don't want to give him that Defiant boost right off the rip. It's going to be Rillaboom Volcarona. I'm cool with this. I am actually very cool with this. Because I got Cover Cloak, and I'm hoping they're faking out Hatterene. And chances are, they are faking out Hatterene. They don't know I got that Cover Cloak on me. They don't know I got it on me like that. All right. So, Grass Train out and about. Got to go for Trick Room here. And honestly, do I just attack here? I'm going to go for Sword Dance boost. I think they fake out the Hatterene. I don't think they attack my Ursaluna. I think they think I protect the Ursaluna. I'm going for Sword Stance. I'm Sword Stancing up. Heat Wave's going to launch. Oh, no. My bear's dead, isn't it? Okay, Hatterene's dead. That sucks. I should have went into the Flying Terra. They didn't go for Fake Out. That really sucks. Man. I could have just attacked here, too. I could have just attacked. All right. We're figuring this out right now. We are figuring this out. So my bear pretty much KOs a lot of Pokemon here. I think Incineroar is going to be your play. We can't set out Trick Room, which is very bad for us. Um, Huh. Okay. All right. I'm going to fake out you. And I'm just going to facade this slot down. Tough news for us. I really need that trick room. I really need that trick room. Or anything, it's a withdrawal and roll, but a smart little withdrawal there. Um, we are facading down this Volcarona slot. Gengar's gonna launch out here. It has focus ash. That's a that's a scary little Pokemon. We have knockoff and protects gonna fly out here, so big time protect from him. Big time protect. Huh. How am I buying this one? I gotta go for knockoff into Gengar. Correct? Get back a little bit of HP, but I mean, Burn's gonna just take that right back. Burn's gonna say, no siree. Uh, I am gonna go for a knockoff here. I could Snarl. I mean, Snarl could be good. Do I protect on the bear? 
Yeah, I definitely do. So I'm just going to protect the bear and I'm going to go for a Snarl. I'm going to take off Focus Ash and lower their special attack. Snarl has just been so good on Incident War today. Just for a haze. You haze me? Get rid of my Swords Dance? Oh, man. That ain't right. That's not cool. Kika Drain's going to launch. We're able to soak that or block that, which is better. So we block that up. We're going to be able to Snarl. Facade's still doing an insane amount of damage. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest, Facade's still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Maybe even KO and Bulk Mana. Um, I could Terrastalize. Of course, Snarl's now disabled, which really sucks. <laughs> but, um, Knockoff should be able to KO the Gengar. Um, he could Haze again. And I might Terra Normal just to make sure that this Facade just rips up into this. And Giga Drain's not super effective. Yeah, I think I, think I should do that. The Major Galaxy can rip up into... Dragology can rip up into, uh, what's it called? Into Rillaboom with Sludge Bomb and Adaptability, Life Orb, Stab. Try and just figure this one out, because, like, once I lost my Trick and Pokemon, I'm sitting here, I'm like, dude, this is tough. We gotta figure out ways around this. I mean, that Protect Snarl was actually good, because this might force Gengar to use another Haze. And if it does use another Haze, that's fine. But it's just gonna end up with drawing Gengar, maybe going back into Rillaboom at this point. Let's go back into Rubem. Are you protecting Volcarona this turn? I really hope not. I really hope not. Did it protect last turn? I'm trying to remember. I think it did. I think it did protect last turn. Because it hate because you hazed, yeah. And I got off that snarl. Actually, no, it didn't protect last turn. I'm gonna go for Giga Drain this turn. So this was a great call for us. We're able to do this. We're able to get rid of Rubem's item. Do respectable damage. No more AB on that. And Facade should KO. I mean, Stab, Guts boost it, Terra boost it. Double damage because Facade I have the uh, burn. Yeah, you're gone. Cool. So we get rid of Volcarona. Rubem has Fake Out ready to go. Um, This might be a good time for me to hard swap my Incineroar. And then maybe just protect Ursaluna. But chances are they think I'm protecting you. They know I have Protect. They know I have Protect. I might just attack with Ursaluna and hard swap my Incineroar. Did I make the read? I kind of really want to make this read. I'm going to make the read. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to attack with you. And I'm going to try to facade down this Rillaboom. I think he thinks I'm protecting my Ursaluna. So I think he's going to fake out the Rillaboom here. Or not the Rillaboom, the Incineroar. Which I'm hoping. He didn't fake out the last time. He just would hammer me down. There's the fake out. Good call on my end. Great call on my end. Great call on, great call on my end. Great call on my end. Rillaboom, get on out of here. Get on out of here. So they're down to the last two. We still have Incineroar, who I can hard swap into. So I dump on you. One headlong rush will take out this uh, Gengar. I do still have Incineroar, and I could hard swap in, uh, Incineroar into here. If they have a physical attacker, I'm definitely doing it. Better not be King Gambit. That's the one Pokemon I really don't want to mess with. It's the one Pokemon I don't want to mess with right now. It's King Gambit. Grass Train's gone. I actually liked it a lot there. Because it, it was helping us out with our burn damage. They're going to go with Clefable. I, I don't mind Clefable. I do not mind Clefable at all. Chances are Follow Me is going to come out here. I am going to Sludge Bomb this slot down. I'm just going to go for a Headlong Rush. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. The Sludge Bomb's going to launch from you. We should soak that. We do all day. Moonblast going to launch. We might die out to that. We survive it. Let's go. That's massive. That just won us the game. That just won us the game. Headlong Rush. Waves bye bye to Gengar. Not sure if the Sludge Bomb's going to KO, but I wouldn't be surprised. Just because Fable's just so bulky, right? But this is going to be Stab. It's going to be super effective. It's going to be Adaptability Boosted. It's going to be Life Orb Boosted. I don't see why this wouldn't KO. And yeah, it absolutely dumps on it. So no Trick Room, no problem. We get a crit too. Lucky us, but we were winning that one regardless. Again, no Trick Room, no problem. We're sitting 2-0. With Regulation H right around the corner, I feel like we've been going up against more and more Regulation H teams. I think we went up against all Regulation H teams in today's video, which is absolutely amazing. We're sitting 2-0, going up against a Hydreigon team with P2 to set Trick Room, Torkoal, Ursaluna, Vax Calibur, and Spirit Tomb. Really dope Pokemon, you don't get to see it too much, but I think they gotta go into their Trick Room squad. We don't have any weather control, so this could get real ugly real fast, especially with Torkoal just dominating Trick Room. But... I feel as Incineroar with Snarl could kind of keep that under control. Do I lead Incineroar? I think so. 
I think we go Incineroar alongside with Hatterene, try to set this up, go Dragalge alongside with Ursaluna. Yes, please. Yes, please. So no Sylveon action in today's video, which is kind of sad. I love Sylveon, but I mean, I showcased Sylveon plenty of times before on the channel. So if you guys are desperate to see some Sylveon action, just head over onto my channel, scroll down a little bit, probably a month ago, probably. But you can just type in the search bar, Sylveon Pokemon Genes YouTube. There you go. Should have done a few Sylveon videos. Maybe a Sylveon video from uh, Sword and Shield will pop up there as well. The good old days. But I think it was Spirit Tomb alongside with Ursaluna, which is good. We get off a nice little Intimidate. Um, pressure is going to exert. Ba -ba -bum. I could try to knock off its orb before anything. Good Terra Grass here as well. Good Fake Out. I think he's just going to protect the bear. Let's be honest here. I'm just going to go for knock off, and I am just going to... Do I just Dazzle Gleam and just look to dump on this? Because how slow are you, Ursaluna? Let's be honest here. How slow are you? How slow are you? You're 44. What's my Ursaluna? Hattery might be slower, so Tricker might be more beneficial for us. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take out the Spear Tomb. I think Ursaluna protects you. I think Ursaluna protects. He just withdraws it, that's fine. We're doubling down the Spear Tomb. He's gonna throw out Golem Fishing. Who is this? It's, it's a Pokemon that's now dead. Dad's only going to rip up into it. This is double KO. Another crit for us today. RNG, we love it. Mental Herb gone. Snarl launches. That is going to affect me a little bit. You get a crit right back on me. But this match is pretty much over now. That's some theme launches. Bye-bye, both you guys. Four times super effective on the Hydreigon. Super effective on the Spirit Tomb. What a start for us. Stay hot, jeans. Stay hot. Um... Boom. What's the plan here now? Because you're going to go back into Ursaluna. We didn't set up Trick Room, which is actually pretty good for us. And is it Torkoal? That's the only question I have. Is it Torkoal? If it's Torkoal, we're going to start snarling down. We can't have this thing just erupting. It is going to be Torkoal. All right. That's fair. That's fair. So we're going to start launching snarls. Um, And I'll throw a Mystical Fire in this slot. Love a special attack. And they just cancel match. A 3-0 perfect record today. We absolutely dominated with this Dragalge team. So guys, the poisonous seahorse prevails today. Dragalge going 3-0 in today's video. And this team was nothing short of phenomenal. I love this team so much. Indeed, he had Arena setting up Trick Room, no problem. Then Ursaluna Dragalge doing monstrous damage in the Trick Room. We didn't get to use Sylveon, but like I mentioned, if you guys want to check out Sylveon content, I definitely got it on my channel. And then Incineroar. Again, doing Incineroar things. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.